Okay, look at this set. Uh, the following chart shows the price of seven stocks A to G in US dollars on September 5th. Okay. So there is nothing much given in the graph, only 5th September value of different stock. That means here it is 120, here it is 180, right? Here it is uh, 80, okay, 240, right? 60, 100, and 220. Okay, simple values are given, right? That I can read easily or we can write down the values. That's it. The, the work of this, this graph is over, okay? Nothing else is given in this graph. Simple values, values of A, B, C, D, E, F, G. That means value of this stock on September 5th. Okay. Then, uh, okay, there are some instruction given. So, the following information is known about the change in price of the given stock on September 6th. Oh, from 5th to 6th. The sum of the absolute values of the positive changes in the price of stock in dollar is the same as the sum of absolute values of the negative changes. See, here he is talking about changes right positive changes and negative changes right so from 5th to 6th september the stock may go up may go down so it may be a positive change it may be a negative change he is saying sum of absolute value of positive change so whatever is the total positive change that is equal to the total negative change okay that is given okay for for all the stocks taken together okay then sum of uh, sum of the individual percentage changes of all the stocks is 105 so percentage change uh, 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 above it was only the absolute value of the change now it is percentage change so total of all the percentages right that percentage change is 105 so which is numerically equal it equal to the half of the sum of changes in the prices of the stocks whose price has increased okay let's see let's see these are the uh, question uh, and then there are questions okay then there are questions four questions are there so i will write here the data okay and the instructions i will go back and see first thing september price i know a price it is 120 b price it is 180 okay c price it is 80 d it is 240 and e it is 60 then 100 and then 220 okay these are the pricing Okay, now where are the instructions? Instructions, okay, I will go back to the instructions because instructions will be important. Right here, this point was important. So, total percentage is 105, which is half of the sum of the changes in the price of the stock whose price has increased. That means whatever positive changes are there, right, the total positive changes are 210. Okay, any value given, the change in the price of stock A is one third of the change in the price of stock B. The decrease in the price of stock D is 6 times the decrease in the price of stock C. Also, G is the only other stock having a decrease which is 70%. Okay, this is given. Right? So, D, C and G are decrease. Right? Others must be increasing because it is written decrease in the D. 6 times the decrease in C. Also, G is the only other stock having a decrease. So, there are only these three stocks which have decreased. So, D, C and G, G is 70% and D is 6 times C, okay. Okay, here it is, G is 70%, okay, G is 70% decrease, right, and D and C, D is 6 times as, because this is the change he is talking about, right, 6 times, Okay, it's it's okay. Just just see that. Uh, okay, I will go back and again check. It is D is six times decrease in the price. Okay, this is okay. The change in the price of stock A is one third the change in the price stock of B. Now A and B must be increased. The rest all are increased. Only D, C, and uh, G are decrease. All other must be increased. So A A change is one third of the change in price B. Okay, so if B if b is increasing right if b is increasing by 3y let's say if b is increasing by 3y so a is increasing by y because change in a is one third of change in y right here you can also say 220 70 percent so it is gone 30 percent remaining so 66 must be right the price on the next day okay and here you can see the absolute change. So 220, 66, the absolute changes, 
minus okay 34 20 54 154 so minus 154 is the change okay here i have the absolute value okay now what else is given uh, let's say the change in the price of stock a as well as f in us dollar are equal to the value by which the change in price of stock b exceed e okay so b the change in b right and change in e the what is the, the whatever is the difference that is the change in a and f okay so b and e whatever is the difference that is uh, the a and f okay so let's see b and e so b and e what is the difference and that should be a and f so a is y so f also should be y the same difference and b and e right the difference should be y so e must be 2y because 3y and 2y the difference is y okay so this was the statement the change in b exceed change in e right and that exceed that difference is equal to a or f right change of a or change of f right okay okay here it was given okay well, one more thing is there right we have done this three second also second is not given okay we have not done second sum of the individual this and it is equal to which is numerical equal to half the sum of the changes in the uh, positive right change prices okay so positive changes the total should be 210 okay positive changes the total should be 210 so what are the positive changes okay this 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 and this which is 3 uh, 3 6 and 1 7 y and 7 y is given as 210 that means y is 30 so we got all the values now right see y is 30 that means this is plus 30 this is plus 90 right this is plus 60 and this is plus 30 right in the first statement it was given that absolute positive change and absolute negative change are equal so that means positive change are uh, total 210 right we know so negative change should be also total 210 so 154 is already there plus 6x and x 7x all, all also there so that means this must be if i cancel with 7 7 22 7 30 so x must be equal to 8 right x must be equal to 8 so this is minus 8 and this is minus 48 okay so we got the changes and now if 120 was the original value plus 30 it becomes 150 and 30 is 25 percent right of 120 180 90 is 50 percent and it will become 270 right it is an increase 80 8 is 10 percent 10 percent decrease and it will become 72 here right 240 48 is 20 percent right so it will become 192 here okay 60 60 is 100 percent so it is 100 percent increase and the total will become 120 right 100 so 30 increase 30 percent is the increase and it will become 130 so we got the entire table and you can see the total of the percentage changes just add it 25 50 75 75 minus 30 45 145 145 and 30 175 minus 70 is 105 which was given the total of all the percentage changes was 105 so we got the entire data right in place we have solved this now we can answer the questions and there are four questions attached to this so question is what is the percentage change percentage decrease in the price of d on september 6 september 6 okay and d d it is minus 20 percent d it is minus 20 percent okay so my answer would be minus 20 percent he is saying decrease so i will answer 20 percent only that means answer will be you will type only 20 because percentage is given decrease is given so you will type 20 right 20 would be the correct answer what is the ratio of percentage change in the price of stock b and f on the next day okay 
I can I can just have this uh, data right which we have solved right we 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 can just put this data on that screen also so that we can quickly answer the questions okay just see it is question number 18 okay Okay, let's see. I have put the data here on the screen. So here, this was a question, right? That what is the ratio of percentage change in the price of stock B and F on the next day, right? So percentage change in the price. So B, it is fifty percent change, and F, it is F, it is thirty percent change. The ratio of the percentage change would be five is to three, right? So five is to three should be the answer. So once we have solved it, it is very easy. Okay, now the question is, what is the price of stock E in US dollar on September six? E on September six is one twenty, right? Okay, super easy. See this question: For how many stocks did the price change change by at least thirty and at most sixty? Okay, because he's saying change, it can be increase as well as decrease. So 30 will do, right? 60 will not do. 48 will do. 60 will do. 30 will do. That's it, right? So one, two, three, four, right? The answer will be four. Okay, minimum 30 and maximum 60. So within this range, the change should be there. So four stocks, right? Thank you